under center. Pitch to Eddie George. On his feet inside the five. End zone touchdown, Ohio State. Dobbins, stop and start. He's in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. The Ohio State University has produced the second most running backs drafted in the first two rounds. I'm about to be joined by a guy who just joined that fraternity, J.K. Dobbins, second round pick, 55th overall in last year's draft. J.K., how are you doing? Man, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm blessed. How are you doing, though? <laughs> I'm doing well. So one of the first things that I have to get to, because you guys are so terrific, I want to start out our Pro to Prospect series by having you take a look at one of your fellow Buckeyes, Trey Sermon, on some of the similar traits that you guys share. When we start out, I just want to say you're one of the more physical running backs that I've seen. Talk a little bit about your physicality. Yeah, so, you know, I try to, uh, you know, play a physical game whenever I have to, you know what I'm saying? And Because um, my thing is, I don't want to be brought down by just one guy, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at Ohio State, the coaches would preach about that. If you get brought down by one guy, then, then we probably need to sit you on a bench, you know what I'm saying? So, so I try to pride myself on that, you know, running physical and gaining the extra two or three yards whenever the, it should have been a, a, a one, guard, one yard gain or something like that, so. Yeah, I pride myself on that. Work real hard on the weight room at it, you know what I'm saying? You know, put on the weights so I can run through arm tackles and things like that. Well, it's funny that you talk about physicality, and it seemed like it was a culture thing at Ohio State. Um, when we look at Trey Sermon, he also displays physicality. What have you seen from him? Oh, yeah, that, that, that boy can run that ball. He real physical, you know. One guy ain't bringing him down, you know what I'm saying? He gonna run the ball real hard. You gonna get the extra yards. You know what I'm saying? And you know I like his game a lot, man. Um, I, I do think he's gonna be he's gonna be good at the next level as well. You know, all running backs, particularly elite running backs, have great vision. One of the things that you displayed at Ohio State and also your first season with the Baltimore Ravens has been your vision, your ability to see cuts. Um, what goes into having great vision as a running back? You know, I feel like a lot of it is, uh, you know, studying your, your scheme, your team scheme, and how the how the line is blocking everything up because uh, that slows the game down real, real fast for you. You know what I'm saying? And you know where everybody's going to be, how it's going to be blo blocked up, and then you add in the film, watch the film on the defense, and you know what I'm saying, see how linebackers going to flow, what, you know how aggressive they play, and things like that. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying. The most important thing, though, is to know what the blocking scheme is like for that particular run play. And then that just slows it down for everything. Just knowing whatever everybody's going to do, where they're going to be, and it just slow it down. And that, that makes your vision. You know, that's a God-given thing, too, though. But you can work on it. And that's my main thing, I think, that helps me, you know, have great vision, be able to see the hole before it's even going to be there. Because you know what I'm saying? We got a double team going on right there. That double team may take time to get to the second level. And you know it's going to be there, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how that's that's where I get it from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's funny because college backs, it's, it's hard to find guys who have that patience and that vision. When we look at Trey Sermon, do you see a little bit of that in his game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like Trey Sermon is a very mature runner. You know what I'm saying? He, he waits for his blocks. He's patient. And, you know, he going to hit that hole. He going to hit it hard. You know what I'm saying? He going to hit it with... Tenacity. He gonna have, he gonna be physical coming through that hole. Ain't no ain't no arm tackles with that guy. <laughs> it's funny that you talk about uh, avoiding arm tackles, running through arm tackles. A lot of times we equate that to playing with low pad level. When you run, you have a tendency to fall forward because you play with low pad level. Did you learn that? What goes into having low pad level as a run? Yeah. So having low pad level is just. You know, you always want to have that leverage, you know what I'm saying? And um, I never want to be stood up by a guy and, like, put back, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like that's embarrassing. So I, I try to play low. So, and you always want to deliver the hit, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like it would hurt more if you you playing high, you got hit, you know, because guys in the NFL, they all, they all good. Everyone's good, you know what I'm saying? So 
if you up high, you getting hit, you getting popped. And you know what I'm saying? You gonna have a whole bunch of, of your family hitting you up. Like you got hit, boy, you better get low or your friends making fun of you. So you don't want to be that guy. So I just, I, I pride myself in staying low. You know what I'm saying? And you can, you can create more speed that way, coming out of your cut. You stay low in your cut, you're coming out. You, you're coming out fast. And so that's why I, I keep my pad level low. It's funny because we talk about balanced body control, low pad level. Trey Sermon certainly displays some of those things. I'm sure you saw that when you watched him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He definitely does. You know what I'm saying? He has a good pad level. And that's why it's, it's so hard for guys to bring him down. Just one guy to bring him down. And he's also a bigger body, too. So... Being a bigger body and being low, yeah, he, he gonna have that leverage and he gonna he gonna break his first tackle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm very excited to see what he's gonna do with his level. Well, look, man, we appreciate your insight breaking down another buck uh, on our Pro to Prospect series. We expect to see you and Trey Sermon shine at the next level next year. Sure, thank you.